Well, West Virginia's Secretary of Homeland Security denies a claim that top corrections officials helped destroy evidence regarding inhumane conditions in the jail system. Bob Aaron questioned the governor about those disturbing allegations today. Reaction came at a video news conference to a federal magistrate's finding that corrections officials failed to turn over evidence in the discovery process of a civil lawsuit alleging terrible conditions at the Southern Regional Jail. The magistrate ruled the jail and prison system failed to turn over emails, inmate grievances, investigative reports, and other documents the court and court rules required it to provide. The magistrate says it was intentional. A federal magistrate found pervasive and ongoing failures by corrections leadership when it comes to following the rules. The plaintiffs in the civil suit are seeking sanctions against Corrections Commissioner Billy Marshall, Executive Officer Brad Douglas, former Commissioner Betsy Gibbeton, and ex-Homeland Security Secretary Jeff Sandy. Newly appointed Homeland Security Secretary Mark Sersea denied there was proof that corrections officials intentionally destroyed anything. He said a policy most corrections officials were unaware of called for deletion of emails five months after a person was no longer employed. There has always been a good faith effort by everybody involved, even the people that got in trouble and, and are no longer doing the job, but there was always a good faith effort to do it right, to get it done. We may have failed in a few respects, but there was never any kind of um, idea to destroy evidence or um, in any way um, mislead the public. How can we have confidence in these folks to play by the rules if a federal judge says they're not? If people have done a derelict job, they need replaced. If people have done a purposeful, purposeful job, you know, for where they've done something knowingly that they've done something that is wrong, such as destroy evidence or whatever like that, when they know that it's dead wrong, then they need to go to jail. Justice was not taking any responsibility and said he strives for transparency. The Justice Administration's position was deliberate evidence withholding did not happen and that a federal judge shouldn't follow the magistrate's recommendation for a default judgment with multiple deaths at the Southern Regional Jail adding to potential damages. Some estimates of the cost of bringing the state's lockups and sphinx to where it should be exceed $300 million in Charleston, Bob Aaron, Eyewitness News. Two correctional officers are expected to plead guilty in a Beckley Federal Court Thursday for their parts in the death of an inmate at the Southern Regional Jail. We have more great Eyewitness News investigates right here. Subscribe and hit the bell notification to have the latest uploads delivered straight to you.